Hey folks, Frank Zarella here. It's Friday, almost the weekend, 3.45. I wanted to do a quick video on something I mentioned on Twitter uh, yesterday and also this morning, which was that there are two sectors out there, the gold mining stocks and the oil sector, that for, for the most part, they're, they're pretty much all or none, where if the sector is up, almost every oil stock is up and also mining as well, the gold miners, and if the sector is down... Uh, every stock within the sector is pretty much down. And when you come across that situation, typically you're better off just going with the triples, uh, the triple longs, the triple shorts, whichever you know direction you're leaning to, towards to, because normally they're going to outperform. And let me give you an example. It typically happens more with the gold mining stocks, but it's something that's happening today with, with, with the oil stocks. Um, let me give you an example here. I have my list for today, which is all full of oil stocks. And I'm going to go through them. You'll see they all have the same pattern. They were all down for multiple days in a row. And they all printed very small candles inside days or the smallest candles within the last seven days, the NR7s. And typically when you see that, uh, it, it tells you that you're pretty much seeing the end of that short-term move. And here, BAS... Stock is down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in a row. Print an inside day. That's typically, you know, the end of this move here. And then what you're looking for is for it to break the, the pattern. In this case, going to the previous day high. Uh, by the way, BAS is outperforming today. Uh, it's, it's outperforming gush by a couple of percent. But let me just go back and talk about the way the entire sector looks the same. Here's MRO, same pattern as BAS down multiple days in a row. OAS, same exact thing, same pattern. MDR, same exact thing. Uh, NE Noble, same exact thing, down multiple days in a row, inside day. Uh, here's RDC, down multiple, day, multiple days in a row, inside day. PXD, PXD, and Canna. You can see here, they all have the same pattern. This is an all and none sector, just like the mining stocks. So when you come across, you know, this type of situation, you know, trying to pick the, the best winner for a swing trade for the next three to five days is not that easy. So I think the best thing you can do is go with the triple. Now, I realize that if you hold these triples for the long term, uh, you're gonna lose money. There's just so there's just a lot of decay going on. But for swing trading, when you're looking to exit these things in the next three to five days, I think they're much better than buying the individual stocks in either the mining or the oil sector. For me, the only reason why BAS is outperforming the triples and the rest of the stocks is because it only has 17 million shares in the flow as opposed to MRO that has a, a 746 million, OAS 233. So the bottom line is when you come across some of these oil and non sectors, which which for me, uh, it, it's the mining sector and the, go, and, um, and the oil sector, and you see a bunch of stocks that have the same exact pattern within those sectors, and you wanna go do a trade and go long or go short, uh, you're better off. You'll get a better bang for your buck by doing the triples than trying to pick one individual stock. All right, so I hope this uh, this video was of some service. If you have any questions, feel free to at me, at Zortrades on Twitter.